that we give the examination center what it actually shows is that the heart of the institute of chartered accountants of india beats for every branch as i just now stated the institute of chartered accountants of india is the second largest accounting body in the world we have about 330000 members that is 330000 uh, chartered accountants and about 750000 students so uh, uh, and out of our students the international women's day is coming on the 8th of march 44% of our students are ladies or females and uh, i am very happy to come to jhasguda branch today because jhasguda branch is an active branch although it is small in size it has just got a uh, award from the east india regional council and jhasguda branch is one out of 164 branches that we have in india so and then as i stated just now uh, we are not only a, a institute which is uh, restricted to india we have a huge global body with 44 overseas chapters uh 27 representative offices we are present in 73 cities of the world and uh, over the period of time we have grown to be a huge monolith organization apj abdul kalam the former president of india had described us as a partner in nation building and we take that description of the profession very very seriously to all of us in the council to and to all the members to all the chartered accountants it is always nation first that we act we whatever we think is for the benefit of the nation uh, on the gst front the institute has contributed immensely towards the success of gst and you know many of the other for example in the railways the institute has contributed to converting the accounts of the railways from cash basis to accrual basis so over the period of time we have always taken great pleasure great privilege and great honor to you see we are now targeting the msme sector and the startups you see we are trying to see to what extent we can help the msme and the startups because you see they require a lot of help and they may not have the financial strength to afford that help from chartered accountants we are trying to put up incubators in our branches 164 branches so that the chartered accountants go and guide them how to set up a company how to go about uh, doing well in their sector uh, the honorable minister of msme mr nitin gadkari was there in a program of ours in the month of january and he was also telling us that as a pillar of the national economy we must try everything everything possible to help the infrastructure and the msme sector and we are trying our best in addition to other areas our thrust today since you asked this question is also on technology we believe that the technological changes will be massive and there will be disruptions but we also believe that you see at the institute that we should take technology as an enabler and not as a disruptor the institute has a separate board called digital accounting and assurance standards board which does lot of research on uh, artificial intelligence on blockchain on data analytics we are trying our best to see that our membership and our students are inclined towards the latest that is happening on the technological front also uh, certainly it will because you see oil is one area you see in which we would be certainly affected right so you see there will be some effect you cannot say that look we are never insulated today the whole world has become a global village you cannot say that they are fighting a war there and we will not be affected we will be certainly affected you will see the effect in the stock market also so you see we at the institute we believe that it's the best course of action is dialogue instead of having a war it makes no sense for anybody does not help anybody that's how it is let me tell you a uh, first thing that we tell about this conflict we our our view point is this that the digitized digitization that you are talking about is here to stay the digitization is not going to go off just because covid is coming down it is here to stay 
those of us who adapt ourselves to the new requirements, to the new world of digitization will survive. Those of us who feel that it's very difficult may fall by the wayside. So to everybody, I would my advice would be that go for the digital age because that is the age of the future. Let me tell you, the government has not as yet banned cryptocurrency. You will note for the digital assets this time in the budget, they're talking about 30% taxation. There is also a viewpoint because cryptocurrency at the present moment is unregulated. So there is also a viewpoint that you see you ban this, but the government has not done so. At the institute, we are pre preparing a research paper, not only on accounting and auditing of cryptocurrencies, but to what extent the cryptocurrency will have an impact on the national economy. And the taxation that has been brought in the budget, to what extent it is justified. So we are preparing research paper and we hope to give it to the government in a short period of time. But I would agree with you that cryptocurrency or the cryptos, what you call it, is an area uh, of great focus for us at the institute and I'm sure the government too. What about the blockchain technology? You see, cryptocurrency cannot work without a blockchain. Blockchain is, is the basis for cryptos. So, you see, at the Institute, as I said, the DAB, Digital Accounting and Assurance Standards Board, you know, we are doing a lot of this thing, a lot of research on the blockchain. Because we are trying to do, see that to what extent blockchain, artificial intelligence affects us as a profession. Today, uh, if I have to understand cryptos well, I need to have a rudimentary knowledge about blockchain. I cannot say that, look, I don't understand blockchain at the same time, I'll try, try to talk about cryptos. So uh, we at the Institute are doing everything possible to spread knowledge about blockchain, artificial intelligence, etc. A bit about the Indian economy. I have great faith in the Indian economy. You see, despite the COVID, I think we will do very well. Because it is such a huge economy and over a period of time, uh, we have really excelled in various sectors. Information technology, since he's talking about it, is an area in which we have really excelled. So, you see, and the world knows that the kind of growth that we are having in the GDP, uh, you see, is quite significant even considering the COVID restrictions. So, at the Institute, we are extremely positive about the Indian economy. Thank you. Thank you. 100%. Uh, that's why I said that the institute, if you have heard me, that the institute does not reside only in the metros. The benefit of the kind of research that do, uh, we do at the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India should spread to the smaller cities also. I am totally in agreement with you that whatever we do, we must also spread to the smaller cities. Otherwise, we will never be inclusive in whatever we do. I am in agreement with you. Thank you.